Welcome to Electro Online. Our next integral, here we have a sine of ax in the numerator and a cosine squared of ax in the denominator. So at first it looks like it's very different from what we've done in the previous few videos, but it's actually not all that different. All we need to do is take the denominator, write in the numerator with a negative exponent. So let's do that. So this is equal to the integral of the sine of ax times the cosine to the negative 2 power of ax dx. So now that we've done that, we can now do a similar substitution as before. We can allow the cosine of ax to be equal to u. So we're going to let u equal the cosine of ax. That means that du dx, the derivative of that with respect to x, is going to be equal to the negative sine of ax times the derivative of the angle, which is times a, which means that this can be written as du is equal to minus a times the sine of ax times dx. And then you look over here and realize that we have a sine of ax times a dx, we just don't have the negative a. So we're going to rearrange this a little bit. This is equal to the integral of the cosine to the negative 2 power of ax times, and we're going to leave a little bit of room, we have the sine of ax dx. So here we have what we would call u to the minus 2 power. But we don't have a du because what we're missing here is we're missing a minus a. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this times the minus a. And of course, when we do that, we also have to divide by a minus a like this. And then what we have over here is the exact differential du. So now we can take that integral and write it in this form. This is equal to minus 1 over a. I'll just put the minus on the top times the integral of u to the minus 2 times du. And that we know how to integrate. Because this is equal to minus 1 over a times u at 1 the exponent, which is minus 1, divided by the new exponent, minus 1, plus a constant of integration. Now this negative will cancel out this negative, and u to the minus 1 can go to the bottom. So coming up here, we can say that this now becomes equal to 1 over a, the two negatives cancel out, and we're going to write this as 1 over u to the first power plus a constant of integration. Then of course u was equal to the cosine of ax, so this becomes equal to 1 over a times the cosine of ax plus a constant of integration, and that then becomes the result of the integral of the sine of ax divided by the cosine square of ax. And that's how it's done.